They recognized the lack of funding that we had for aneurysms. They did something about it. And now they have created a, an organization now funding more than a half a million dollars. Detection, blood tests, scans, which aneurysms are going to rupture, which aren't. All this stuff is extremely exciting. We saw today the nucleus of some ideas that if they take traction, well now the answer might be yes. We are looking at a really exciting uh, new novel uh, potential mechanism of aneurysm development and possibly rupture. Reduce nickel leaching from the device in addition to creating scaffold for tissue regrowth over the aneurysm neck. You'll have a better idea of where these cells uh, that cause inflammation come from. Develop a biomarker to then to intervene. Stabilize the aneurysm until they are healthy enough to undergo that intervention. Identify uh, these uh, senescent cells within the arteries of the brain. To get a model that mimics that human tissue data. Biodegradable metallic coil or injectable gel, which can deliver the uh, therapeutic agent or cell therapies. This is a fantastic symposium for anyone who loves and thinks about brain aneurysms. It's amazing to see what other ideas people are thinking about and how that plays into your own project. And I also want to say thank you to the survivors, the caregivers, and those who persevere through loss. The brain aneurysm has it's connected me with the research. It's great seeing you know, the survivors, seeing the families that are here representing the people. And just knowing that I go to work and I do this for them. We have gone from treating patients that had essentially a death sentence to being able to bring them back to a full life. So we're making headway, really good headway. But they remind us all that, that we got a long way to go.